did a poem um, a while back and um, never really got anywhere with it. I think I had about two lines or something like that, three lines. Um, I am coming back to poetry. Um, I, you know, am still working every day. And um, when I had gone to the high school performing arts, I was a journalism major in college, and then kind of as many as life took over and what have you. And then a few years ago, I decided to um, step back into my artistry and into my craft. And so, as I said, I had about two lines, and then I saw this, and I was like, oh, you know. So um, the name of the poem is, is um, the red chair. I went ahead and took the, uh, the, the, the title. Um, women in waiting, in wanting, false smiles from passers-by, attempts to hide. They have seen the green leaves fall, turn brown, seek to the ground, and birth again, having never died. The women know children who should have wailed, lay breathless, pale. These women's wrinkles outline the rivers of tears, their eyes too old, too dry to repeat. How, how many years must they need? Each wears a scarf, perhaps saffron, sterling, violet, sage. No, no, never scarlet, crimson, or carmine. Those colors closely remind that scars do not fade. There beside the empty chair, always the empty chair, left for the one unable to bear the secret shape. Mm -hmm.